Okay, so this is the door that is overproof. Good morning guys from Maestro Vitio Copelli. How are you today? Today we are going to show you a little trick, very simple and quick. Amici, I'm gonna speak a little bit in Italian for my friend in Italy. Today it's very hot here, we are doing a little catering. Stiamo facendo a little cocktail right here. Getting refresh from my friend right there. Come here, come here. What did you just made right now? He's my friend here, he's a bartender working in Los Angeles, California. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? <laughs> my name is uh, BC Hoffman. Where um, we can find you? Come to Sassafras Saloon in Hollywood, right off Vine Street, or you can catch me at the Edison in downtown Los Angeles. Um, this is a blackberry thyme vanilla ginger whiskey cocktail, um, and it's got a blackberry thyme salt and sugar rim, it's got vanilla, as well as uh, Jameson Irish whiskey, uh, house-made ginger beer, and some delicious, delicious, ah. delicious, delicious imbibements right here with amazing, amazing pizza. Man, he made a fantastic cocktail. Now, so today I'm going to show you how to, uh, what to do when the dough is overproof. You know, so the dough gets to the point where you can use it, and then uh, today, because we we don't have a fridge, it's so hot outside that the dough. It, it went overproof, so it passed the fermentation and gets like all a little bit messed up. There is really, really, it got a really little bit uh, uh, overproof. There is really hard to use it. But don't panic because it's, it is a way to, to be able to use this dough. So I'm going to show you how to do, uh, I'm going to show you what to do when the dough is uh, overproof. Easy and quick lesson from Maestro Vito Iocopelli. I'm gonna speak a little bit in Italian from my friend in Italy. Allora ragazzi, oggi vi faccio vedere come, eh, come usare l'impasto quando è cresciuto troppo, quando ha passato il punto di crescita. E perché qua non avendo il frigorifero, oggi fa caldo, quindi l'impasto è cresciuto troppo, però non vi preoccupate perché si può usare. Andiamo a vedere come si fa ad usare l'impasto che è cresciuto troppo. First thing is this. We put a lot of flour, but we follow this line. Make sure you don't cover the line here. So, first thing we cut it really good. We cut it. We cut all the sides. Then we put more flour. Make sure that the spatula is clean. Then, easy and slowly, boom, one shot. And you pull it up. And this is the dough. We just press this like this inside or we just attach. We make a circle. So let's keep a circle like this and gentle. We put it on the flour like that. Then we put the head up. So this is how it was in the box. Now we put it on the table. Gentle, we press. We press gentle because now the dough is more soft. So you press like this, just press. You don't need to, to stretch it. Just press, press, and press. Now, you make a circle. When you have these little pieces, cut it off. Now we can make the pizza. Little bit of basil, little bit of basil, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of olive oil. Now, because the dough is a little soft, it's more, so it's overproof, it's gonna be hard to pull it on the peel. So we're going with the peel under. So we try to, to go under, one shot. Go one shot, pop. And gentle, we make a large, the side that we want to. Voila. 
Now we're going the oven. You need the oven very, very hot because uh, when the dough is overproof, it gets a little bit more uh, clunchy. So we need to have the, the oven a little bit more hot. For my friend in, in Italian, for my friend in Italy, I'm gonna explain a little bit quicker. So, ragazzi, quando avete l'impasto uh, che ha passato il punto di crescita e cresciuto troppo, mettete tanta farina, tagliatela piano piano e un, con un colpetto secco di spatola, pum, da sotto, la prendete e la buttate direttamente nella farina e poi la stendete gen con gentilezza. E poi il forno deve essere bello caldo. Ok, andiamo a vedere, così. Ok, guys, the dough, the pizza is ready. So, like you can see, it's nice and crunchy. It come out perfect. So, why? So, the dough, when it's overproof, don't pay, don't panic, because you can still make a good pizza. Make sure, guys, that you subscribe, like the video, thumbs up, and see you at the next video next week. Grazie, ragazzi, per la visualizzazione. Ciao, from Maestro Vito Iacopelli. Ciao.